Welcome back to news across Nigeria in Edo states. The Supreme Court has affirmed Godwin Obaseki as the duly elected governor. This follows the dismissal of the appeal filed by candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Osage Eze Yamu, challenging his election. The apex court in its judgment says the PDP's appeal lacks merit and therefore cannot be sustained in law. A seven-man panel led by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Walter Onoge, gave this unanimous judgment today. The tribunal and the appeal court had earlier taken the same position. The governor of Kogi State, Yaya Belu, has built the Nigeria Army Forward Operational Base in the Central Senatorial District to an in an effort to tackle insecurity in the state. Governor Bello, who mentioned this during the commissioning of the project in Okene local government area, revealed that the security situation in and around Kogi was at an alarming rate uh, when he assumed office. The site is at the boundary between Edo and Kogi state. And now the Kogi state government have built a forward operational base which cost over 204 million naira. The crime rate on this road in central senatorial district necessitated the establishment of the base. The base now complete and ready to be commissioned is the reason why traditional chiefs from the central senatorial district, top government officials, military personnel and legislature all gathered here to witness the occasion. In his speech, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Borotai, who was represented by the Director, Training and Doctrine Command, Major General Rashid Yusuf, promised that the Army will put the facilities to good use. This forward operation base is therefore a significant and tangible effort by the Kogi State Government to support the conduct of military operation that is bound to secure the peace and security of the state, and create the environment for social, economic, and developmental activities in the state. The governor, in his address, stressed that the facilities donated to the military, if properly used, will help curb armed robbery, kidnapping, and other crimes. And this state was helplessly in the group of terrorists, kidnappers, armed robbers, and cultists when we took office a little over one and a half year ago. To the glory of God and to the best use of humanity, so help us God. The commission base is therefore seen as a symbol of hope for galvanized security in the area. Finally, the Empire Initiative of the federal government has been lauded by the government of Imo State in southeast Nigeria. The governor, Rochas Okoracha, revealed this in Nawari, the state capital, with a senior special assistant to the president on job creation and youth empowerment, Mr. Folabi Imokwede, paid him a curtsy visit at the government house. The NPAR initiative is one of the federal government's policies introduced to help address the challenge of youth unemployment by providing a structure for large skill and relevant work skills acquisition and development. The Empower is um, a promise fulfilled. Uh, last year uh, we deployed 200,000 of that, 500,000 for the graduates. And as we speak, the portal opened again June 13. It would close July 13 in the next few days, I think maybe just about six, seven days now. And uh, wherein we want to recruit additional uh, 300,000 to make up that 500,000. The Imo State Governor, Rocha Sokorocha, commended the federal government on the scheme which he said is reducing the effect of unemployment in the country. What we are doing right now uh, does not create an impact in the West, economically and politically speaking. Uh, because I'm ABC and I want to get political managers for my national party and uh, for my president to of this northern project. If it involves 5,000 people in the state, it's enough, it's enough uh, of the biggest achievement the world needs to get. The federal government said that at least 200,000 youths all over the country have benefited from the first phase of the program, designed for Nigerians between the age of 18 and 35. That's news across Nigeria. Thank you for watching. I'm Jacqueline Rogers. Bye for now.